ready? Yep. Let me see. Let me get that. Let me guess. No. <laughs> 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 What's up, I will, will you? Tell me Simone back. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I like how you did that. Do it again. All right. All right. What was the problem? Was I supposed to come up yeah, I'm too. You ain't saying too. I'm going to say yes, Simone. You ready? I'm sleepy. Come on, okay. girl. Okay, but I was gonna say Simone. All right. So you say what's up, will you? Okay. And then I'll say Tim cool. and Simone. I'll say Tim and Simone. Oh, whatever, whatever. It's natural. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. What's up, I will, will you? Tim and Simone here with you right now. Listen, we're gonna do a, a episode. We were thinking about this. We're gonna do an episode called "What Did You Expect to Happen?" All right. We're tired. We got. We've been getting a lot of emails. We've been getting a lot talking to a lot of couples. And like Tim, Simone, listen, you don't understand. This is what happened. Uh, you know, he did this, she did that. And we're, our question is, what did you expect to happen? Why, why, why did you think that you were going to get anything different? And this is the thing: is that a lot of couples think that this is magic. <laughs> this is not magic. It's not going to be poof. Things are going to get better. Poof. Things are going to be different. Right. It does, we don't believe in magic. Listen, this is about hard work. What are you willing to do on a day-to-day -day basis to make your relationship better, to make the situation better? And if you're not doing that, why do you expect things to change? Right. And then why do you expect to make things change overnight? Right. Right. When you haven't been working at the relationship uh, but for a couple of hours and you expect things to happen overnight. So what did you expect is about setting your expectations for greatness, for amazing results. If you want amazing results, I'm not looking for an amazing magician. If you want amazing results, I'm looking for amazing actions, right? right? Amazing actions to uh, and, and work in your relationship to make these amazing results. Right. So when, so if if and we love getting feedback. I, I don't want to think you make you think that we don't like getting feedback. We love getting feedback. But we also want to make sure that we set the level of expectation right. If you're not doing what you need to do, don't expect the results uh, that, that doing what you need to do gets. Right? This is only for the individuals that's saying, I want to commit to doing what I need to do. All right, and me and Tim always want to be very open and very honest with you. We had our mentors was very open and very honest right. with us. Yeah. So you know that's our job, and you can't grow without honesty. You know, if you love someone, you want to be honest and real with them, but also give them tools. I'm not, but and also yeah, give yeah. them tools yeah. so they can so, so they can make it, so they can be successful. Listen, you're not gonna get to where you need to get to in your relationship. Now our focus has changed. We said we're skipping past great, we're moving into amazing type of relationships. You're not going to get there if you're not willing to put in the actions. So don't expect, don't, don't expect anything to happen in your relationship until you put in the actions. Right. So, you want to go with the tip number one, baby? So tip number one, uh, uh, tip number one, uh, well, how, what, what, for this one, let's do how to control uh, the outcome. Mm -hmm. So how to control the outcome. Mm -hmm. Tips for how to, how, to, how to get the results that you want, how to control the, uh, the outcome in your relationship. And uh, tip number one, uh, we'll put it like this, uh, stop crying, right? Mm -hmm. Stop whining. Mm -hmm. That's tip number one. Because number one, you can't think and cry at the same time. It's impossible, right? So while you're whining about a situation, while you're crying about a situation, I understand that it hurts. But while you're doing that, under, just 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 be realistic. The outcome's not going to change because you, you're crying about it, because you're whining and complaining about it. The outcome's not going to change. So when you're ready for the outcome to change in your relationship, stop crying, mm -hmm. stop whining. You know, drive the tears. You can't think and cry at the same time. But you got to stop complaining because now we got to move into action, right? right? If you want things to change, it's about what you do. It's not about what your spouse does. It's not about what happened. It's about how you respond. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you want to respond now? How do you want to move forward now? So, number one, stop crying. 
And always remember, um, what's the solution? You know, if you're if you're having a war with me party, and trust me, I get it. I, I was one of those people, you know. I was the crybaby and the war is me. But while you're doing all that, it takes so much energy. You can't, every situation, there is a solution. But if you go down that road, you'll never see the solution that's in the situation, you know. Yeah. Take a minute and just say, hey, this is what the challenge is, but there is a solution to this challenge. Yeah. And, and it's not just the women that are crying. It's the man, too. Like, crying doesn't have to be physical tears. Mm -hmm. Crying could look like this, where I'd be like, man, you just don't understand how what she be putting me through. Or you don't understand what she been doing. That's that's a form of crying. You're start you're you're looking at the past and doing recognizance on the past when when uh, when your marriage is saying push me forward. When your relationship is like let's go forward. Right. So how do you control the outcome? Stop crying and start acting. Right. It's all about actions from this moment on. Right. Right. And then um, tip number two is um, start what. Start sowing seeds. Yeah, start sowing seeds. You know, what seeds am I sowing? What am I putting into my relationship? You know, if I if I'm if I'm throwing in a whole bunch of negative, un you know, just unhealthy things to my relationship, I'm gonna reap stuff that's unhealthy, you know. Right, right. I can't say, Hey, love me, but I hate you. Yeah, you know? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> All day long. I'm like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Why don't you love me? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause cause okay, so if I if apple seeds create apple trees, yeah. all right. If I have if I have uh, um, if I want roses, I gotta plant rose seeds. Mm -hmm. If I want uh, a mustard tree, I gotta plant mustard seeds, mm -hmm. right? So so the seeds start off with how how I address my spouse, right. the things that I'm saying on a day to day basis, the things that I'm doing on a day to day basis. So if I want the outcome to change. I got to start planting the seeds to that outcome. If I want money, then I should be planting in money seeds. If I want sex, then I should be planting uh, seeds that lead up to sex. Mm -hmm. If I want that love in return, guess what kind of seeds I need to be planting? I need to be planting those love type of seeds. If I want respect, my seeds should look like the thing that I want to come up. Mm -hmm. But most of the time we complain about uh, uh, results mm -hmm. when you're the one that's been planting those seeds. Right. You've been planting the seeds to the results that you've been getting. So if you want a different outcome, you got to carry a new bag of seeds. And right. so maybe you need to research on what kind of seeds that you need to start picking up. What do you need to start adding to your repertoire? Because you you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. You you're going to lay in the bed that you made, right? Mm -hmm. So the outcome that you need to control are the seeds that you're planting every day and it's every single day you're waking up with it on your mind right. that I'm determined that today this is what I want so these are the seeds that I'm planting right. and then and remember you know it, get, it takes time for those seeds to grow you got to water you got to plant them you got to water them and then you got to give it time so just because you start sowing in good seeds don't expect a great change right away give it yeah. time you know and remember slow down on your thinking before you react to a situation what seeds are you sowing today? You know, what seeds? If I sit up here and I'm mad at Tim and I just attack him, he, he's going to shut down on yeah. me. You know, like all, the, all every time that I talk to a couple, I uh, I ask what did they do? Like they'd be like, well, you don't understand. She did this, she did that, or he did this, he did that. And I said, what did you do? Tell, talk to me about a week before this happened. Right. What did you do? Because I I need to see what kind of seeds you were planting. To get this, because it just things just doesn't happen. <laughs> right. Like I, we're gonna get you off of that right now. Things just don't happen, just to happen. Right. There was something that led up to it. Right. right? No matter how, how how bad you've been fighting it, or how you want to hold it in and cover it up, you did something right. to get the results. That if you don't like where you're at today, then look at your past. Everything in your past has led up to today. Right. The situation that you're in has led up. Uh, uh, based on what you've done in the past. So it's time to start taking those seeds and, and planting the right seeds. Listen, I, I'll take it back to the store. Like, I need a refund. These seeds aren't working. These seeds ain't giving me the future that I need. So so here, you take these seeds. Boom. Now I got these new seeds. Let me start planting these. And that leads us to step number three, or tip number three, is to evaluate the seeds. So now that we know that we, we've sown uh, and we reap what we sow, now we need to evaluate this kind of seeds that we've been planting. Mm -hmm. And most people be like, well, I'm just going to do me. Well, doing you haven't gotten you the results that you need, mm -hmm. right? You need to evaluate that seed of doing you. Mm -hmm. 
uh, most people be like, turn up, right? Turn up hasn't gotten you to the point where you need to get to. You need to turn down and evaluate the seeds that you've been planting, mm -hmm. right? Evaluate who you are. Mm -hmm. Evaluate, like, like you'd be like, uh, um, you know, I just snap off the handle. I say whatever comes to my mind. That's just me. Well, if that's not getting you the results that you want and you keep doing it, you're a fool. But if you want to be wise, say, no, there's some things in me that need to change. I'm planting some wrong seeds and I'm getting the wrong vibe. Um, I'm, I got the wrong this and I got the wrong that and I got the wrong this. And if that's a consistent theme, then you need to evaluate the kind of seeds that you've been planting. Right? There's something that needs to change. Right. And again, me and Tim are only telling you things that we've been through. Right, right. So we know this is a tough challenge. However, it's very doable, you know? Yeah. And so we're not coming down on you or anything like that. This is how our mindset was, and it got us nowhere for years. You know, so that's why we want to share this um, yeah. with everybody, you know? I mean, seeds are powerful, right? right? You, you can have an amazing relationship, an amazing marriage, an amazing life. I'm talking about amazing I'm not talking about good, great. I'm talking about an amazing life. It's in your grasp, but it requires you to change. Mm -hmm. And you change by changing your seed. You change your mindset. You change your perspective on how you evaluate a situation. Like, forget about what people have told you if it's not working. If that's not working, change who you are. Right. Like, guess whose control that's in? That's in your control. So stop complaining about your spouse and you start changing. Like evaluate in your seed, and that takes us to this next point, and this is our final point, and right. then we're gonna get out your way. Oh. The this next point is is if you fall, it, once you once you plant your seed, you reap what you sow. Like most people would be discouraged, be like, well, I don't know how to change, I don't know. We we we're asking you this last tip. We're asking you to try something new, try new seeds, mm -hmm. right? And if you fall, get back up. Mm -hmm. So you need to experiment with some more things. So like those people that that uh, can't control their temper, this is what we want you to try. Try controlling it. Right. Like like for those that say, I just need to voice my opinion. I just need to say what I what I what I need to say. Try this for this week. Don't say anything. Like don't don't fly off the handle. Like that's a new seed. Mm -hmm. It's called patience. Mm -hmm. Like if you can't control your temper, try patience. If you if you're angry, try love, try temperance. You know what I'm saying. Try this new stuff, right, right. like self control. Try that. That's a new seed, and see what kind of results you get. Now, if you don't like the result that you're getting, then maybe you should try a new seed. Mm -hmm. If you're the kind of person that says, "I want respect," then um, uh, see if you can give it first, right, right. and then see if you get it back in return. Mm -hmm. Like, you're in control of your destiny. Stop fooling yourself. You're in control of your destiny. You're in control of everything that happens in your life. Mm -hmm. And it's time to start waking up and saying, man, if, I, if, I, if, this is, if, this, if I'm in control, then what do I need to shape differently? Maybe you need to read some new books. Maybe you need to listen to some of our past videos. Maybe you need to jump into your Bible or, or start praying more. I don't know what you need to do, but if you don't like the results that you've been getting, stop stop saying it's your spouse's fault right. it's your fault and start you changing it, your seat and you're giving too much control you letting your you're giving too much control to your spouse over your actions you know um there's nothing about tim like tim could walk out slam the door and i could say oh i'm going outside to go you know because because he made me do it he didn't make me do anything i chose to take that path so make sure you slow down with yourself, get yourself in check, and figure out what seed am I going to sow, and what am what am I looking for? To, what am I looking to reap? You know? Yeah, we may have to do a part two to this, one. <laughs> like, because I, I believe that like you can create an amazing relationship, and I've been getting a lot of heat. Like, well, you you're you're talking fantasy. This isn't fantasy. Right. And when you say that it's fantasy, all you're saying is I'm not willing to do the necessary right. things to become amazing. Right, and how can it be fantasy? We're, we're sitting here telling it. You know, I mean, we've been yeah. together for years. Like, you know, yeah. 12, 16 plus. 16 plus years, you know, so we've been up, down. So we're not telling you anything that we have not went through ourselves, you know. And if we can do it, I know everybody else can. <laughs> if we can do it, then you can do it. Hey, time out for that old stuff. We're moving past bad, we're, we're skipping past good. We're skipping past great, and we're saying it's possible to become amazing, to have an amazing relationship. That's our new focus. Okay. 
right? So we just want to drop this quick note on you. Uh, hey, you're in control, so start controlling it. We'll see you on the next post.